Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Cigar Talk. I'm your chief, Jahara, leader of the Kim Dynasty and the Spiritual Bandits. And today's episode of Cigar Talk is inspired and brought to you by James from Lifestyles of the Leaf and Famous. And so I met James yesterday and he dropped a lot of information on me about understanding your palate. And we ended up doing an exchange. He bought me a cigar based off my preferences in exchange for my book, Tangential Thoughts, version two. And so I'll be meeting up with him later today, but I asked him if I'm gonna do a Cigar Talk podcast and spread some information, what are some things I need to cover? And he mentioned that for the first, one of the main things I'm gonna to have to cover is the blend. And then we'll go into the breathing. How does a cigar breathe? You know what I'm saying? How easy is it to pull? And so based off of my preferences, James suggested Oliva V, Melania Maduro. And so I'll end up adding this one of these bands to my jacket and the other band will go inside of my notebook here. And so just some things to note. If you look at the cigar, you'll notice how square it is. They call that a box press. They call that a box press. And so one of the ideas is that once I cut it and it starts to smoke, it'll then loosen up and take on that circular shape that you usually see a cigar has. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, give it a straight cut. Now, I also learned something else new yesterday. So, James said, you shouldn't be lighting a cigar with a big lighter. And I'm like, why? And he says, the fuel, the fuel from the lighter will actually change the taste of the cigar. And so he said, he suggested using cedar wood. And before I left, he gave me a couple pieces to take home with me. Now, I didn't know how to light a cigar with cedar wood. If you've always watched my videos, I've, done, I've always done them with matches. So I went on YouTube today and I figured out, well, how do I light the cigar with the cedar wood? And of course you just light this and then you light the cigar. But the other part that threw me off for a loop was some of the cigars I had been smoking actually had cedar wood wrapped around it. And I was supposed to take that cedar wood off and then use it to light the cigar. So I learned a lot new, just, you know what I'm saying? Just within the past few hours or so. So I got it cut. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna light the cedar wood. It's outside, hold up. It's actually kind of hard to light right now using this lighter. But it's also because I'm outside. It'd be a little easier if I was on the inside. If I was inside the Jeep. Man, the other part, it's cold outside. So <laughs> it's cold outside. And so doing this with my thumb, boy, that just hurt. All right. So the cedar wood is lit.
All right. I'm smiling because I told him what I liked and he was able to give me a solid recommendation based off of my preferences. So, going back to the blend, When you talk about a blend, you refer to the wrapper, binder, and filler. This wrapper is a Maduro, sun-grown in the San Andres Valley. The binder and filler are both Nicaraguan. And the reason that he suggested this cigar to me was because if I enjoy my father the ones that I was pointing out, then that's a more spicy, peppery taste. And again, for me, just starting off, I thought that was one of the hottest, smoothest cigars. But I can tell that this is a well-constructed cigar. Now, I still prefer just personal prep. I still prefer a cigar with a larger diameter circumference. But this is a very smooth cigar. And they were joking me yesterday in the sense of like, if you a newbie, because it's like, there's types of cigars, there's classes and there's rankings to this. And he was like, and you can watch it. You can watch it. You can see exactly what they said, but I'll link that video. Uh, I'll link that video to this one in the, in the description. But he was like, if you smoking that right there, you driving an Acura. Right now, he's showing you the Cadillacs. And so, this is a step up from where I was. And he said, this right here. This right here is a Series 5 Beamer. He said, this is a BMW right here. And I appreciate it even more because they said when you can sit down with somebody and talk about a cigar and even give us a, a, a cigar recommendation based off of their preferences,
He said, this ain't no, this ain't basketball. This ain't baseball. This ain't hockey. This ain't golf. This ain't no sport. You got to know what you're talking about if you're going to suggest somebody a cigar. So, I want to say thank you to James and Steve for dropping some knowledge, information, and wisdom to me yesterday. And again, James is on, his channel is Lifestyles of the Leaf and Famous. And as you can tell, I'm gonna get through this. Uh, things to note as well, the color of the ash, the color of the ash, the lighter, the better. You want you don't want a dark ash at all. So the camera might not be doing it justice, but it's very close. It's hints of gray in there, but it's very light, very light. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna make it in my new favorite, but. What I'm enjoying about this is similar to what I enjoyed about the My Father brand. It is as smooth, the pull, the way it breathes, the taste of it. But before I convert over, I want to see one with a larger circumference. It's just for me. It's too light in my hand. You know what I'm saying? But I enjoy this. Would I get it again? Yes. What would I rate it? Scale of one to 10? Because I'm not putting it over my favorite just yet. But I would say it's solid, though. I would say it's solid. I would recommend it. I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it an 8. Because the other part about it that I'm taking off from is I'm able to smoke it too fast. Cause you want something with burn time. Now granted, right now the video is about, it's coming up on 15 minutes. And I didn't smoke this for the entire 15. So I'm pretty sure that I'm about, hmm, you could say 25%, 50. If I'm about 25% done, in about 12 minutes. That might give you about 48 minutes of smoke time. Which is pretty solid. That's pretty solid. That's decent. Some cigars can get you up to an hour though. Hold on. But you wanna enjoy your cigar. You wanna enjoy your cigar. So, I'm gonna give it a solid eight. That's my review. This is my review on the Oliva. Oliva V. Melanio Maduro.
Highly recommend. Highly recommend. This has been another episode of Cigar Talk. I'm your chief, Jahara, leader of the Kim Dynasty, and I'll see you on the next episode.